In sample question six, I'm being asked to determine which of these compounds has the properties of being hard, brittle, soluble, and have a high melting point. So I can automatically tell that this will not be a molecular substance because molecular compounds are soft, generally have a lower melting point, and they do have varied solubility, but many of them are insoluble. So I can go ahead and eliminate A and I can eliminate E because those are molecular compounds made of non-metal elements. I can also eliminate choice C, the diamond. So diamond, although it is a hard solid and although it does have a high melting point, it's not dissolvable in water because it's a covalent network. So I'm down to two choices. I'm going to eliminate the copper metal, that's a metallic solid, and yes, it is a hard substance, but it will not be soluble in water. So the answer is B, rubidium chloride, that's my ionic compound that's bonded by a metal and non-metal ion. That's what makes it a hard substance with a high melting point, it'll take a lot of energy to break this bond. But it is soluble in water because water is polar, so water will have a charge attraction to these ions as well helping it to be soluble. So this is how we answer a question like this when we look at properties of matter.